Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft and today you can accompany me and my ducks and Finja to my Christmas trip. It looks more than spring as Christmas, but Christmas is what you do. So if you want, you can join us. I will spend the night at this beautiful spot. Um, I know this spot. I am here when it is possible once or twice in a year. And it is perfect because I can make here a bigger fire directly at the rocks. And the rocks reflect the, the warm from the fire. So it is very, very nice here and I will have a great time. Till yet, at this Christmas special video, nothing is like Christmas. It is so warm, we had temperatures like in spring, the sun is shining, it is beautiful, but this is not Christmas. So I think about what I can do to make a special Christmas video and I do a little bit that the Christmas feeling come out and we can share it with each other. So. I will show it to you. But at first I had to build my camp. So this is my sleeping setup. I sleep tonight in the Amok. Amok, hammock. It is the Traumrad. I had much space in it and I can lay it at the side, not in, only at the back like in the most hammocks. And um, it is also possible to sleep in the hammock in the winter time if you had a mosquito cover. The inner air will be very warm and I had a candle laterne that I hang always inside of the lat uh, inside of the Amok and then it is really warm, not hot but warm.
I make normally in the woods only and small fire because I want to go safe that nothing happen, no forest fire. Uh, but today it is possible to make a bigger fire because I had here those big rocks um, that are like a safety point for the fire. I only had to put away those leaves here around and then I had to make firewood a little bit more than normally because I want to make a bigger fire. So I had to do it when it is warm like yet, then work goes better. Here is my Christmas tree. I will put this in my camp.
fire is now burning very well. At the beginning of making a fire, the fire is always like a small baby. You always had to care about it and you can't leave it. But now the amber is there and if you had amber and the fire is going out, it is easy to bring it to burn again. So I can leave now and make a little bit, a little bit more firewood. I told you that I make today something special. One of the special things is that I make now cookies direct at the fire at a hot stone. I make it for the first time. I had no idea if it works and how it works, but I will try it in my brain. It works. Let's see how it is in reality. I had here the stone plate, here is a little bit fat inside and this here is for the cookies. I make it ready at home. We only had to bake it now. So you look through your computer if it works and I try it here at the fire. I make the time till the Christmas cookies are ready a little bit sweeter for me. I make an mullet, mullet, mullet wine, self-made.
I had here inside red wine, orange juice and some spices. Some ideas are good when you had it in your head, but in the, in the reality they are difficult. So it works well with the Christmas cookies. The other side is a little bit dark because I can't check the heat, but this side here is perfect. And I will try them now with my hot wine. This is a little bit of Christmas. Mm. I really enjoyed to sit here close to the fire. The rocks not only reflect the heat, they also reflect the light. So I had here a very warm side, very nice. I enjoy my hot wine and when I am ready I make my first dinner. Today I had two different dinners. I had something special. I tried only once before at a bushcraft meeting. I'm not sure if you can see it. It is a burgundy snail, an edible snail. The last time I tried it tasted very good, but it is years ago. So I'm wondering if it tastes also good after all this year. <laughs> yes for me. I will make them directly over the fire. And yeah, let's see how they taste. Uh, I buy them. We are not able to collect them here because we had not many of them. So I bought it from the supermarket. Thank you. 